hey guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel if this is your first time seeing my face hi my name is Monica and I post videos all about personal finance all about investing for beginners all about the stimulus checks all about budgeting during a crisis also I said stimulus not stimulus a lot of the comments have been saying I'm saying stimulus but either way today I'm going to share with you a stimulus check update for today Saturday July 18th I hope you are all having a happy Saturday and things are going well it is hot 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 here in New York City so if you want to hear all the latest updates about the stimulus check there's a lot to cover so be sure to subscribe comment like this video and here we go so this is your second stimulus check update on when the payments could be sent now the timeline for us getting a second stimulus payment from the IRS will depend on the Senate taking action in the next couple of weeks so here's what we can expect. A second stimulus check is on the table for discussion when the Senate finally returns to work on Monday. Now Congress is expected to debate the details on how much money you might receive, what the requirements will be to qualify for another payment. It could still take weeks for the White House, Senate, and House of Representatives to find common ground, but I have some clues about when the IRS could send its first batch of checks or direct deposits so no one else knows so keep on watching. Now Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said on July 14th, which was earlier this week, that when they're back in session over the next couple of weeks, he'll be laying out another package in the Senate and they are looking at another direct payment. So at this point, we have senators looking at another direct payment. We have the House of Representatives who is clearly in favor of another direct payment. So now it's a matter of how much will it be, who will be eligible, and when can we see that second stimulus check. So I broke down some critical dates from the Senate's calendar and use the first stimulus check as a model to estimate a potential window of time that the IRS could start sending a second check. I'm also going to forecast what could happen if the Senate can't come together on a new relief act before its next recess. Now, can we just talk for a second about the Senate? They are taking a lot of breaks and they are just enjoying their summer holiday. People are struggling, but our senators are having all of the recesses possible. I want this job where I can have so much recess time. Either way, the Senate has three weeks to make a stimulus check decision. That is starting this coming Monday to August 7th. Now this is the last weekend of the Senate's recess that began on Friday, July 3rd. So they've had about a couple of weeks of a recess, which means that Monday, July 20th is the first day session resumes. Now, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin told CNBC that as soon as they get back this week, they're going to sit down on a bipartisan basis with the Republicans and the Democrats, and that next package will be passed before the end of this month. So this month is ending in about couple of weeks so time is of the essence as soon as they come back on Monday they are going straight to it they have two weeks to make a decision and pass something now the Senate has another recess that's starting August 7th giving Congress three work weeks to build debate negotiate and pass another stimulus package before the last day of its session now the annoying part is McConnell said whether or not the Senate passes a new package before their August recess, they will not work past August 7th. So that means if it takes them longer than three weeks to pass a new stimulus package, we are just gonna have to wait. They're saying we are just going to have to wait. If they're unable to get this done in three weeks, they are going on recess. Whether or not something is passed, whether or not they come to an agreement, no one cares we're going on recess so that's annoying especially because these are our paid elected officials you are getting paid to serve the people so that's more important than your break but either way it's still possible for the irs to start sending checks in august 
if the House and Senate do approve a second round of stimulus checks by the end of July. Now for reference, the President signed the CARES Act into law on March 27th and the first stimulus payments won out less than three weeks later on April 15th. Now for the purposes of speculation, let's say that a new stimulus act becomes law on Friday, August 7th. Following that same CARES Act timeline, the first checks could go out by August 26th. So if Congress and the President are able to pass something before the end of this month, before August 7th, then we can potentially see another stimulus check next month. Now it's also possible that the IRS could move even faster to send out that first wave of stimulus checks since it already has everything in place from the first batch. Now to receive a second check, the proposed rescue package would need to pass both the House and the Senate before receiving a signature from the President. Only then could it take effect and we would be getting those second round of stimulus checks. So after the CARES Act was passed in March, the IRS now has a system in place to organize and distribute those checks. It could definitely be more weeks before we receive a payment, but at this moment, if they stick to this timeline of passing something before the end of July, and if they pass something before August 7th, we can potentially see checks next month which will be such a relief now I'll link down below resources about the virus hardship loans um, unemployment insurance of course what you can do if you've lost your job what to know about evictions late karma payments um, how to take control of your budget now if you are still waiting on the first round of payments you can track the status of your stimulus check, learn how to report that no-show check to the IRS, and find possible reasons why your stimulus check still has not arrived. I'll be sure to link everything in the description box down below. But that is your stimulus check update for today, Saturday, July 18th. I hope you are all doing well. I am so happy to be back on camera. I've really been struggling with finding the balance between working and making sure that I'm keeping you all updated but uh, I'm creating a schedule now that will be better for me to just work with and, and get the content out to you as soon as possible um, be sure to subscribe if you are new to the tribe be sure to like this video it really helps my channel out so much comment down below when you expect us to see another round of stimulus checks also comment down below other ways that I can help you out in this time I mean this is an un unprecedented time I can share with you a lot of information um, I am a young landlord so I'm dealing with you know being a landlord in New York also uh, really well versed in economics and finance and I am getting my real estate license so there's a lot of information that I can provide to all of you just let me know in the comments down below and until next time everyone I'll catch you all in my next stimulus check and stimulus package update I love you guys and that's a wrap